Hello, fellow model collectors and hobbyists. You have joined me for an all-new Diecast Emporium review. We're going to do a twofer in today's video. We're going to be taking a look at the 150th scale first gear Peterbilt Model 367 tractor with a Talbert logo trailer. In this latest release from first gear for the early part of 2023, there are actually three sets available. You have Cola Red with a black trailer, Bright Orange with a black trailer, and then the third option is a white tractor, same type of trailer. The item number for the red one is 30 3476, while the bright orange one is 30 3475. All three retail for a price of just shy of $130 US at $129.99. You can buy these at the link in this video's description if you want to add one, both, or all three to your personal collection. Okay, for the unboxing, since the box design is exactly the same, let's go ahead and focus on the orange one. I think that shows up a little bit better on camera. So, you have 150 a scale, ages 14 and up, the first gear logo. However, there's nothing on the box that has a Peterbilt logo or a Talbert logo, which is something I would like to see moving forward. On the top, 150 a scale, die-cast replica. And another suggestion I may throw out is perhaps have a photo of the real truck and trailer on the back, just something to tape, take up this huge, open, empty space on the box. Underneath... We have the first gear contact information, such as their social media sites, their phone number, and website. And then bottom right over here, you have the item number, which again for the bright orange one is 50-3475. Okay, let's start the unboxing. Now, what I found pretty interesting, and maybe yours will be different, but the orange one had several twisty ties on it, whereas the red set had absolutely none. You will have to undo those. You will have to cut some tapes that protect the plastic formers. Pull the top former off. You can see that there's a variety of different accessories that are included with both of these. doesn't matter which color combination you go. You have the optional wide load sign, deck extension boards here, as well as First Gear has thoughtfully provided a pointer tool, which is really nice. So let's get the stuff out of the box now. There's the trailer. Here is the truck. And when we come back... We will take a close-up look at the details and features, so don't go anywhere. All right, welcome back, everyone. Let's take a closer look now at the optional assembly. Here are the different deck boards you can get, and as you can see, if the camera will focus at all, that would be very helpful. You have these replicated wooden deck extensions which go on the low boy trailer. You are provided a total of four, and they are at different lengths, as you can see here. The other accessories you get, of course, is the aforementioned pointer tool, your wide load sign, which goes on the front of the tractor. There we go. And if you don't want the wide load sign, you can get this bumper bar protection piece, which again is plastic, but it's chrome and looks quite good. So let's outfit both of these now on the front of the truck so you can see what they look like. We'll zoom back out. Now, the piece that goes on the front bumper is usually pretty loose fitting, so if I may recommend perhaps putting just a little, and I mean just a little bit of glue to uh, to hold it in. Or, conversely, you can use some plastic model putty. This one actually stays in there pretty well, so that's good to see. If you don't like that look, you can go with the wide load sign, and that just clips over the top of the bumper, as seen here, and just sits on top of it. All right, how about the trailer? So your planks here, your outriggers, as they're called, they can extend out. I would recommend using the pointer tool to get all of these out to where you want them to be. And I'll just do a couple so we don't take up too much time here. But as you can see, with the pointer tool, you can move these out of their position. And we'll go ahead and do three. That should be enough to hold one of the boards just to show you guys. So as you can see, there are three extended out. Next, you put one of your boards on. Like so. You can see that quite well. And then you just do the same thing throughout the whole length of the trailer so you can accurately replicate a wide load with, let's say, a tracked machine with your outriggers and deck extensions on. First up is the orange tractor. Obviously, the most attractive aspect of this whole model, at least in my opinion, I've always been a fan of the color orange. I think it fits perfectly for the whole construction industry. And the bright orange that First Gear has chosen here looks really quite good. You can see the plastic fender uh, wells on the drop axle as well as the first of the rear axles. You also have your connection lines back here, a headache rack, and a warning beacon light up on top. 
You have the Peterbilt logo on the mud flaps behind and some red lights. You also have some decent diamond plated texturing up here and then obviously your fifth wheel. Coming along to the front, you can make out the Peterbilt logo on top of the grill. Your chrome bumper, your lights with amber turn indicators on the side of them. Obviously your chrome mirrors and your exhaust decks are all chrome along with your air horns. Taking a look underneath, you can see the red motor inside and some of the chassis component detail. That is the orange one very quickly here since they are exactly the same model, just different colors. I'll show you the red one. Now I found this red for those that may be wondering, and I know there's at least a handful out there. This red is significantly darker to any of the sword trucks red. So bear that in mind, at least to my eye. Everybody sees color differently. Obviously that's science, but to me, the colors are pretty far off. They're not very close. Anyway, same functionality, same details, except just the very, very nice. The first gear calls it Cola Red, uh, which actually, it does look quite like a Coca-Cola can. Looks quite good. All right, those are the two tractors in today's video. Let's take a look at one of the trailers, since they are exactly the same. On the back, we have two rotating lights here, as you can see, and then your wide load sign. Your Peterbilt mud flaps extend to the back of the trailer, although maybe those should have been tailbird, considering this is a tailbird trailer, but just nitpicking here. You can also see the different line details on each of the tires and axles. This gives you a great look at the simulated wood decking. You have a connection hose right here that goes to power the hydraulic gooseneck. Here's the Talbert logo. Very, very nice. And up here, you have more diamond-plated texturing. Here's something that I've never noticed, and this is about the fourth first gear trailer I've owned. I don't remember the actual tie-down shackles here being highlighted, and they really stand out and look great on this trailer. And I believe, if I can find my pointer, if it didn't run off somewhere, I believe they are flexible, meaning that you can move them. Yeah, they are. You can move these up slightly if you want to. So if you're actually going all out and you want to simulate a load tied down on one of these trailers, I see no reason why you couldn't do that. Last but not least, here's the chassis look of the trailer for those that want to see it. Okay, when we come back, we'll see one of these truck and trailer sets hooked up together, and maybe, just maybe, we'll see what a couple heavy equipment loads look like on them. All right, welcome back, everyone. We've got the orange set assembled here. Let's start off with the functionality of the truck. Unfortunately, there is no front axle steering, but you can open the hood. On mine, as you just saw, it doesn't seem to want to stay open without snapping back. So we're going to cheat a little bit and hold it open so you can see the engine and component detail inside. All right, let's open the doors. Both the driver's door and the passenger door do open to a decent enough angle that you can get a good indication of the detail that's inside, including the operator's seat or driver's seat, the steering wheel, the pedals on the floor, and obviously the dashboard too. Close those back up. Your fifth wheel does not slide. So for those wondering, will this fit other type of low boy trailers by the ability for the fifth wheel to slide? They do not slide on this truck. Okay, that's the functionality of the tractors. The trailer is very basic. Again, the wheels roll. You can also detach the gooseneck. And the way to do that is to pull forward and out simultaneously. You can see how it is locked here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Pull it off. And again, just take a little bit of care when you're doing this so that you don't break anything. There you go. It's off. So if you wanted to simulate loading this trailer, let's go ahead and do that. We'll hook our gooseneck back up to the fifth wheel. Move him over here. Bring out our low boy trailer. We'll drop our ramps down as seen here. And we'll bring in a... Norscott 924G Versalink wheel loader. Pretty much everybody has had this or has this in their collection. We will drive him onto the loading ramps. Make sure he is centered. Drop our bucket down. There you go. Fold our ramps back up. And then we'll hook it back up to the truck. And there you go, folks. That's what one would look like with a load on the trailer. All right, so let's wrap this video up. Whether you go with the red version, seen here, or you stick with the orange version, both of these 150 scale low boy trailer sets from First Gear are actually quite nice models. 
The gooseneck mechanism is very, very fragile, so I would warn you to be very careful when you are displaying your trailer with the gooseneck connected or disconnected. The functionality of both the truck and the trailer is good enough, although, of course, I would like to see at least front wheel steering. The drop axle is fixed in the upright position, and the detail on both of these make them very appealing, especially with the color options to add to anyone's truck or heavy equipment collection. Thanks again so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.